All right, so thank you, Winston, and thank you to all the organizers of this event and the sponsors, and uh, also thank you guys for coming out here tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, and you decided to be here, so thank you very much for that. So there are a million office buildings in the United States alone, and the vast majority of us here tonight probably work in one of those office buildings. And each of those office buildings is its own community already, made up of property managers, tenants, those tenant points of contact, the maintenance staff, the lobby, the building owner, the asset manager. All these people go into creating a community that already exists in an office building. But today those, those communities are disconnected from one another and that leads to several problems. So first and foremost, it means that tenants are disengaged, property managers put on great events and no one shows up, uh, they have n no idea how to spread the information that's pertinent. The building's going to open a couple hours later because of inclement weather, and nobody knows because their property manager sent out a message to somebody who didn't then pass on that message to them. And finally, they're making, uh, buildings are making a lot of decisions for you on behalf of all of us here without any kind of data about who their tenants are and what they like to do and what kinds of jobs they have. So there's a lot of decisions being made in an office building without any kind of data. And Skyrise is a communications and concierge platform for commercial office buildings, so we kind of split the application into two parts. There's a communications piece and a concierge piece. And I'll take you through that and show you exactly what that means. So first and foremost, we put in everybody's pocket for their iOS, Android, or on the web if you want to, um, a direct connection with their front desk, so direct connection with property management. So if a light bulb gets burned out, you just pull out your phone and tell your property manager so it gets fixed right away. Property managers love it because if they don't know about something, then they can't fix it. Second of all, property manager can send out a broadcast notification that goes to everybody's pocket instead of just the, f the, the tenant point of contact, like your office manager. So it goes right to you. Building's opening a couple hours later. Food truck today got canceled, whatever it might be. They send it out. It goes to all the tenants in the building immediately. In addition to that, we have a private social network just for the building. So if you're looking to form partnerships, does anybody, can anybody recommend a CPA, a lawyer to me in the building? You can do business right in your building, get in touch with the people in your building, and find out like, a little bit more about who else is inhabiting your building, right? On the concierge end, real thing, the waffles that Oren made were delicious. It's a real event from a real building, right? Um, a feed of events, so all the different events that are going on in your building are all in one place instead of in a poster stuck on the elevator wall. And a list of all the amenities. So a lot of times what happens is the CEO goes on the tour of the building, finds out what all these great amenities are, but then as you, as you join a building a couple years later, you have no idea there's a car wash in your building or something available to you that those buildings are spending a lot of time um, putting together. And we actually put together our own Skyrise amenities. Uh, it's a, well, I don't think I have enough time to take you through all of them, but really briefly, foods via menu runners do on-demand food delivery. Blown Away does on-demand hair and makeup. Drizzly does on-demand alcohol delivery. Somebody want to cheer for that? No? <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, Pickup's a great Dallas startup that does uh, on-demand pickup trucks. Mend, obviously, for those that don't know, do on-demand house calls for doctors. Fountain Greetings, my favorite one of all of these. You type in a message, they hand write it, they wax seal an envelope, and they send it out for you. So Skyrise members have access to all these great amenities in addition to whatever their building offers. All the same functionality available for the web. We offer analytics right back to the building ownership. I'm proud to announce today that we're launching this for residential as well. So one of my two announcements today is that we're launching this for residential. And before anybody asks, uh, we're in 300,000 square feet. And just before this event today, we closed another 1.7 million square feet. So we got, uh, we'll be rolling out to five buildings in the, K in the KBS portfolio here in Dallas. And we're really thrilled. It's, uh, Big, 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 big win for us today. So that's Skyrise in a nutshell. I'm sure you guys will have some questions, and I'm happy to field, uh, field your, your toughest questions, or your easiest ones, because we're, I guess when we finish this up, we'll have Hey, Andrew, water. it's Fiona. I knew you would ask a question. <laughs> no, no. You've been I, really active tonight. You're I, a Skyrise, Fiona Skyrise user, yes. ladies and gentlemen. No, I, I want to say much. huge props. I think it has great promise. They're, you Thank know, you. It's, it's, it's a cool app, and Thank everybody you. should get it in their building. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. One of, one of the Skyrise users in the house tonight, so yeah. Don't, don't pitch me a softball. Like, let's, let's ask, ask like really tough questions. I know that was like a quick breeze through. I know, I know you guys are like antsy to... Oh, this is going to be an easy question. I'm sorry. 
So right, like, thanks, thanks, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> um, so with this new uh, deal that you guys just made today, I'm curious, what do you think going forward are going to be some of the changes? Because you're going from the commercial sector to now the residential, so it's going to be a completely different user base. Yeah, it's totally true. So first of all, the deal we closed today is in the commercial side. So that is like in, in right in our wheelhouse. And residential is a whole different animal, and that's why we took the past year to kind of slowly like lean into that, let's say. Um, it's a different business model, so on the residential side, we're looking more on the lines of like advertising and smaller monthly payments because there's a big, big, big difference between your home and your workplace. Um, but we're looking at like how building, how different residential buildings can use that broadcast piece. It's a lot more important to them, I think, um, for a wider variety of circumstances. So yeah, it's a it's a different animal. I mean, it sounds like it's similar, but in reality, it's like. I guess it's standard like 80-20, but that 20% is really different between commercial and residential. Great question. My question, here you go, I'm over here. There you cool. go. Cool, yeah. like, Behind sorry, Fiona, I'm behind this, Fiona. This insane like surface of the I sun. I know, light it goes right to Fiona. Like, right, and the, uh, yeah, okay. So uh, halfway through that, I thought about residential. Right off the bat, I thought, oh my gosh. What would be the pushback? And then though? I delivered. Yeah, but what would be the pushback? <laughs> sorry? What would be the pushback if, if like, if you're pitching this, like, eh, not so much. What would um, no, no, everyone loves it right off the bat. They want to buy it immediately. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, so first of all, I think a couple of the hurdles that we've had to jump over are, are that there, there isn't anything like this in, the, in at least the commercial space. In the residential space, it's a lot more similar to some other products, so it's not as difficult a pitch, but then we're kind of in competition. But I will, I'll stay kind of primarily focused on the commercial side to answer your question. We're up against sort of legacy products. A lot of the buildings that people are in today have like actual printed newsletters, which, and I mean this without like with sincerity, right? In 1995, this was a fantastic solution because that was that was like a real thing that you had that could tell you the news for your building. And in 2005, when you got that email and you were getting like 10 emails a week and you were like, oh, look at that, you've got mail, right? It was a great solution. Email was a great solution in 2005. But this is like 2016 and like there really hasn't been that next step. And people walk around with their bank in their pocket and their friends in their pocket and their family in their pocket and their business in their pocket in their calendar, their all cal calendar. There you go. <laughs> um, no, their calendar in their pocket. But somehow as soon as you leave your office building, forget it. It's gone. It's just, it's just totally gone from your, from your life. And I think that's not what people want. I think people care a lot about the places that they work and the people that they work with. And they see, you know, the office is kind of a second home, and we enable people to take that with them wherever they go. Um, so I live in an apartment, and I get notices on my door all the time about, like, Taco Tuesday, and I never go to them. Um, mostly I because love I'm, tacos. I'm that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, but I'm also not sure of who's going to show up, honestly. Like, it's yeah. going to be me by myself with this whole plate of tacos, and it's, like, awkward. <laughs> but oh, I mean, that'd, be, I'm gonna that'd take be a travesty. Oh, oh my God. I'm well, gonna, so, you know what? Right. Important I'm point. Home. They don't know who's going to show yeah. up either, right? But so so for we the can tell them. For the events that the people can post, does it show people like RSVPing? Yeah, so the way it's set like up that? is that the fifth person to RSVP, it shows up underneath as like now five people are RSVP'd. That's the, that we like kind of tested it a few different ways and that's what we came up with as a nice <laughs> moving solution. So yeah, and on the other end, on like the kind of the analytics side, I had to kind of gloss over it really briefly, but we're able to collect information about, you know, what events are popular. Right, so if you, if you ask, a this is so crazy in 2016, but if you ask an office building right now, are there more men or more women that work in your building, right? You have 2,000, 3,000 people that work in your, in your Renaissance Tower downtown. You have more men or more women, they have no idea. They don't know how to start answering that question. So I think when you look at just, you know, just like speaking to your question, I think when you look at what analytics are possible in the commercial real estate and the residential space, and the sky's the limit, right? It's just endless, because there is no knowledge and we're, we're Providing it. I just have a quick question. I know you're focused on commercial, but have you have you dealt with any of the upscale homeowners associations? Oh, not yet. Yeah, we're we're like just now starting to roll out Aldea, which is the residential wing of Skyrise. But yeah, we've been we've been squarely focused on Skyrise for a long time. Okay. Winston, do you have any questions? Oh, I was going to ask. Have you ever been told that you kind of look a little bit and sound like Jonah Hill? A tiny little bit. Do I, do I look like who? Jonah Hill. Has anyone ever told you that? Jonah Hill, yeah. Look and sound a little Actually, bit? Actually, come on. Come here, come here. So I think, that, I think if you had a beard that we could probably pass as brothers. You don't, you don't see it? You guys don't see it? 
it could it could happen. Com compliment him. <laughs> no, thank you very much. But yeah, again, thank you guys all very much for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it, and it's been a wonderful event. You guys did a great job putting it on, and uh, they had non-alcoholic wine. I mean, so. All right. All right. <laughs> that was it. Meanwhile, that's. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. That was good.